Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do, um, get in one quick video tonight. Well, we'll see how long it is. About Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken. Because tomorrow, Wednesday, which is December 8th, 2021, there's apparently going to be a meeting about whether or not she should be reappointed as Dean of Yale Law School. I don't know exactly who makes this decision, who has that authority. Authority. I don't know if it's the Yale Corporation, which is the Board of Trustees. I don't know if it's Yale President Peter Salovey. I don't know if it's the Yale Law School faculty. I don't know exactly who makes this decision, but obviously, not only should Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken not be reappointed as the Dean of Yale Law School, she should be fired. She should be fired immediately by the Yale Corporation or whoever has the authority to fire her. Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken should absolutely 100% be fired, not only as Dean of Yale Law School, but as a professor of Yale Law School. She should be fired. And obviously I don't make a statement like this lightly because people are campaigning right now to get me fired from my temp job, from my low paying temp job that is barely keeping me off the street. People are actively campaigning to get me fired from that job because they don't, it's not, it's not good enough in their minds that my lifelong human and civil rights, uh, academic and legal careers were destroyed. That's not enough for them. They aren't going to stop attacking me until I'm dead. Okay. Because they are the woke KKK and Yale law school Dean Heather Gerken is a woke KKK monster. And I don't say, I don't make statements like this lightly, right? I don't make statements like this lightly because I was the target of a witch hunt at Yale and I was subjected to woke KKK cancel culture. I was subjected to trial by Twitter without due process. I was, I almost died many times over. I almost committed suicide many times over. I had to go into hiding for more than three years for my personal safety. I was deluged by death threats, rape threats, threats of violence. You know, so I obviously don't make these statements lightly. I don't call for someone to be fired lightly, but Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken needs to be fired because she put people's lives in danger and she tried to destroy the careers of students and members of the Yale Law School community, including myself. And I was a member of the Yale Law School community. I didn't go to Yale Law School, but I was a Yale graduate student. One of my advisors, Scott Shapiro, is a faculty member of Yale Law School, one of my advisors at the time, Tom Tyler, was a faculty member of Yale Law School. I was a member of the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School. Tom Tyler was my advisor. He's the father of procedural justice. He's one of the co-directors of Yale Law School, along with Tracy Mears, both of whom were on Barack Obama's 21st Century Policing Task Force. I worked on the issues of policing and racism in policing and police brutality and implicit bias with Tom Tyler at the Justice Collaboratory with Yale Law School professor and Justice Collaboratory member Monica Bell, albeit briefly, Monica Bell knew me and she knew me as an innocent Yale grad student and civil rights attorney and she worked with me very briefly at the Justice Collaboratory and the reason why I mention this is that Yale Law School Dean 
Heather Gerken needs to be fired because she not only apparently signed off on the disgusting email that condemned uh, Trent Colbert as racist, the Native American Yale Law School student and Federalist Society member who sent out the now infamous Trap House invite. Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken signed off on that email that was sent out by Yale Law School DEI Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Admins, Cosgrove and Eldick. They sent that out to his 2L class. It condemned him as racist for sending out that trap house invite. Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken, we now know from Aaron Siberium at the Washington Free Beacon, and I guess also David Latt, we now know that there's a report that makes clear that she approved that email. Now, when she sent out her ridiculously stupid and mendacious response to the whole debacle, the whole uproar in the media, on social media, in the news, amongst the faculty, amongst the entire Yale Law School community over the treatment of Trent Colbert. Cosgrove and Eldick threatened him, threatened to destroy his future career prospects threatened to jeopardize his bar exam, his bar admittance, with the Character and Fitness Committee in particular, if he did not sign an apology for being racist that they drafted for him. Okay? So, Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken was aware of all of that, and she signed off on that behavior and that gross abuse and mistreatment of Trent Colbert, a student of color, a Yale Law School student of color. And so we now know that she lied about everything. She lied in her ridiculous, mendacious, ridiculously stupid, ludicrous response, asinine response to the whole debacle. She was trying to like sweep everything under the rug and she lied and insinuated that she didn't know that they had done this, that Cosgrove and Eldick had sent out this ridiculously abusive and just illegal, maybe, email to the 2L class condemning, condemning Trent Colbert as racist and also that they had threatened his future career prospects. So Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken signed off on all of that. And she threw Cosgrove and Eldick under the bus. And I almost wonder if Cosgrove and Eldick in response then made clear that she had signed off on the email. This is always what happens with the woke. You know, they start throwing each other under the bus. And, you know, eventually the truth comes out. And not only did Yale Law, not only should Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken be fired tomorrow for what the gross mistreatment of Trent Colbert at Yale Law School, she should also be fired for, and I know that at this point this is alleged, but I believe the students. So a lawsuit has been filed against Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken against the two Yale Law School DEI admins, Cosgrove and Eldick, by two Yale Law School students of color. I believe one is black and one, I believe, is Asian American. I believe that is true. And they were the two Yale Law School students of color that allegedly uh, Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and again also Cosgrove and Eldick, the two Yale Law School diversity, equity, and inclusion admins, they threatened their future career prospects if they wouldn't help Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken destroy Yale Law School professor Amy Chua, who, you know, has been the topic of much uproar and conversation, of course. She's the, the tiger mom and, you know, wrote the book about being a tiger mom. And then her husband, Jed Rubenfeld, has been suspended from teaching at Yale Law School for some period of time. 
you know, as the result of sexual harassment allegations made against him, which of course he denies. And so Amy Chua, there was the uproar about that she was still, even after all this, having students over to her home um, and, and having them drink with her and having parties, which obviously Amy Chua denies all of those allegations. And so, um, so, so the two uh, students of color who were involved, who went to, I guess, who went to Amy Chua's house to be mentored by her, that they were being pressured, apparently, to lie about Amy Chua to help Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken destroy Amy Chua, um, Yale Law School professor Amy Chua. And then, of course, of course, and now everyone knows the whole world knows that I'm not delusional, that I'm not a dangerous psycho, that in fact, I've been telling the simple, honest God truth about everything that Yale Law School did to me, okay? Including the Justice Collaboratory, including Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken, including Yale Law School professor and Justice Collaboratory member, Monica Bell. So I don't want this video to get too, too long and I've already done videos about this, so I'll just kind of do the nutshell version. But I went to Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and I begged her to help me save my life and career. And I explained to her the egregious abuse that was perpetrated against me in particular by Yale Law School professor and Justice Collaboratory member Monica Bell. Monica Bell perpetrated the grossest ethical violation. She defamed me, named me and defamed me as a racist in this ridiculously stupid and asinine and mendacious NYU Law Review article she wrote called Anti-Segregation Policing which is part of the Get Sarah Brosh Killed moral outrage industry that is so prevalent in US law schools right now. And it will, it's, it's part of the new genre of US law school journal articles that is the race baiting dystopian fantasy. And the reason why this is such a gross ethical violation is because Monica Bell knew me had worked with me at the Justice Collaboratory and knew me as an innocent Yale grad student and civil rights attorney. Why on earth would she do this? She did this to protect Justice Collaboratory member Veshla Weaver, who is a Johns Hopkins professor, formerly at Yale. Veshla Weaver is still a Justice Collaboratory member. She's a longtime collaborator and friend of Tracy Mears, the co-director of the Justice Collaboratory. Veshla Weaver, after the obvious living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale, worked with Vox.com and Johns Hopkins professor Chris LeBron, also formerly at Yale, to defame me in Vox.com, to drag me to suicide, to destroy my life and my lifelong human and civil rights academic and legal careers. And they did this to use me as a proxy to get revenge against Yale for LeBron having been denied tenure. Both Veshla Weaver and Chris LeBron knew me, and I would even go so far as to say that Chris LeBron knew me well, and I'd worked with him on two anti-racism conferences at Yale with my Yale advisor, Jason Stanley. So Monica Bell tried to drive me to suicide, destroy my life and career in the NYU Law Review, even though she knew me and knew I was innocent to protect Veshla Weaver. Now, I publicly condemned Veshla Weaver and Chris LeBron after I realized what they had done to me. I was shocked. And then pretty much immediately thereafter, I was dropped as an adv advisee by Tom Tyler, the co-director of the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that he that was probably at the behest of Tracy Mears, the co-director of the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School, longtime friend and collaborator of Veshla Weaver, who is still a member of the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School. After the obvious living or napping while black hate crime hoax happened, 
Tom Tyler stood by me. He actually wrote one of my character letters that went to Yale General Counsel. And then subsequently, he just dropped me like, yeah, like a bad habit, basically. Um, after I publicly condemned Beshla Weaver and Chris LeBron for their gross abuse of me. So, um, anyway, and so ultimately I went to Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and I begged her to help me and I begged her to address these gross ethical violations and this disgusting and egregious abuse being perpetrated against me by... Um, members of the Yale Law School community, including professors, members of the Justice Collaboratory, and Yale Law School Dean Heather Gergen mocked me, and she dismissed me, and she suggested that I was mentally ill and delusional. Um, so yeah, so Yale Law School Dean Heather Gergen should absolutely 100% be fired tomorrow. She should absolutely not be reappointed as Dean of Yale Law School. She is a woke KK monster. She defines woke KKK. She defines woke privilege. Uh, Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken is an evil, lying, bigot, and fraud. She had an ounce of decency. She would have already resigned in abject shame for what she did to me, for what she did to Trent Colbert, for what she did to the two Yale Law School students of color who have now filed suit against her. She is a disgrace. She's a disgrace to the legal community. She's a disgrace to the law school community. Um, I will do many, many more. I don't want this video to get too long. I'm going to wrap it up. I will do many, many more videos on this topic for sure. I'm just so happy. I'm not happy that bad things have happened. I'm horrified by the things that have happened. I'm just happy that the whole world knows now that I have been telling the 100% simple, honest to God truth about absolutely everything that Yale Law School and that Yale did to me. I've been telling the truth this whole time, the simple, honest-to-God truth, and now the whole world knows it. Will they admit it? Probably not. They will probably continue to gaslight me, but no one, I know that everyone knows it's common knowledge now that I've been telling the honest, simple, simple, honest-to-God truth this entire time. Okay, I will have all of my fundraising links below I love you all so much for your support. Please support me. I'm continuing my legal efforts against Yale, and we are going to restore due process and equal protection at Yale and everywhere. I love you all so much. Have a great night.